Welcome to Disney's wonderful world of music. I'm Kristen. And I'm Michael. Together, we're going to explore all kinds of music, like classical, swing, jazz, and even cartoon music. Right, and that's only the beginning. We'll get to see and hear the instruments that make music and share a few laughs along the way. <laughs> Sounds great. Let's get started. Today, we're going to be talking about a whole family of instruments. You mean like a mommy instrument and a daddy instrument and a big brother instrument? Yes, you're exactly right. And they all live in a big instrument condo. Really? I, I was just kidding. So was I, Michael. This family happens to be one of the largest musical families. Like the Jacksons? <laughs> Not quite. These are made of wood or metal, and they have long sound pipes with lots of holes in them. Give me one more hint, and I think I've got it. OK. By covering the holes with your fingers or by pushing down the keys, you make different notes. We've got to be talking about the woodwinds. Let's take a closer look. Woodwinds all work the same way. They all have a tube or sound pipe. The player makes the air in the instrument vibrate by blowing into or across a mouthpiece. Most woodwind instruments have a small, flat piece of cane called a reed attached to the mouthpiece. Some have single reeds, others have double reeds. What about the woodwinds that don't have any reeds? We'll talk about those later. The air passing across the reed makes it vibrate, and this makes the column of air in the instrument vibrate, producing a musical note. The longer and wider the column of air, the lower the note. The shorter and thinner the sound pipe, the higher the note. The material the instrument is made of and the shape of the sound pipe determine the instrument's tone or timbre. Because woodwinds are made of different materials and come in so many shapes and sizes, they can create different sounds and express many emotions. Woodwinds can be high and piercing, mellow and liquid, gruff, or eerie and haunting. I can use music to adjust my energy level. Has this ever happened to you? When I hear rock and roll, it gets me revved up. And when I want to quiet down, I put on jazz or classical. Listen to this and see how music can affect your moods. most emotional performance of zippity doo da I've ever heard. Well, that gives you an idea of the emotional range of the woodwinds. Now let's hear them one by one. The bassoon is the bass, or lowest sounding member of the woodwind family. It's a double reed instrument, which means that two reeds are tied together into a tube shape called a staple, and that's attached to the horn. When the player blows into the mouthpiece, the two reeds vibrate together and create sound in the sound pipe. The bassoon sound pipe is about eight feet long. As the sound pipe vibrates, the sound comes out of the top of the instrument. Some say that the bassoon can make a sound like a human voice. In Peter and the Wolf, the composer Prokofiev used a bassoon to represent Peter's grandfather. Music's all around us. Take a look. 
Mankind has always used regular things to make music. The first musical instruments were made from tools and technologies we adapted to make sound. Animal skins stretched across hollow tree stumps became drums. The bows early humans used for hunting became the first harps. Each period in man's development of technology provided musical instrument makers new ways to make sound. When humans made delicate inlaid wooden furniture with fancy carvings, those skills and methods helped invent and develop the early violins and stringed instruments from the 15th and 16th centuries. During the 1800s, when the technology was steam engines and precision metal machines, the great brass instruments found in today's bands and orchestras, that's when they were developed. Now we see in the immediate future musical instruments using the tools of the information age. Interactive musical instruments with thin, full color, full motion touch screens, virtual controls, even holograms. Future interactive online cyber musical instruments will make learning and performing music even more fun. Imagine your future of music, interacting with kids and learning about music, expanding your musical experience with people everywhere even inventing your own cyber musical instruments, your own virtual expression of music. It will cause you to discover the cyber artist in you. The Sorcerer's Apprentice by Paul Duca tells a musical story. In it, a student magician, not musician, tries his master's spells with disastrous results. It's a real showcase for the bassoons, who play the part of the broom sent to fetch the water. <laughs> woodwinds, the double reeds are the hardest to play. In fact, the double reeds like the bassoon or oboe are some of the hardest to play of all instruments. But there is a definite advantage to playing them. For one thing, not as many people learn to play them. So if you want to be a professional musician, it's easier to get into a band or an orchestra. Less competition. Let's look at another double reed, the oboe. The oboe has a slightly nasal sound with a bright ringing quality and is easily heard over a group of other instruments. Like the bassoon, the oboe is a double reed instrument, but much smaller. The most difficult part of playing the oboe is keeping the reed from squeaking. Right, the squeaking is definitely the easy part. <laughs> the serious oboe student will have her reward though. Oboes are found in all symphonies and lots of beautiful music has been composed for oboe. heard musicians tuning up? They play certain notes and adjust their instruments to be sure that they'll all sound just right when they play together. And when they tune, they tune to the pitch of the oboe. Of all the woodwind instruments, which do you think is the most popular? I don't know. Is it the saxophone? <laughs> no, actually, it's the clarinet. The clarinet is a single reed instrument, which means that a reed made of cane or sometimes fiberglass is attached to the mouthpiece. When the musician plays, the reed vibrates and the sound enters the horn through a slot in the mouthpiece. 
Clarinets are perhaps the most versatile of woodwinds with a wide range of notes. The lower register, or range, has a quiet mellow sound, while the upper register can be clear and flowy. Clarinet is featured in many classical compositions, but it's also important in marching bands, Dixieland jazz bands, and cartoon music. Has this ever happened to you? You hear music somewhere and it sounds really familiar, but you can't figure out where you've heard it before. Then it hits you. You heard it in a cartoon. Well, classical music has always been popular in animated movies, and lots of music has been written just for cartoons. You can tell because sometimes it sounds, well, cartoony. <laughs> If you're wondering how important music can be in a cartoon, just try watching one with the sound turned off. Okay, Kristen, while you're watching cartoons, I've got work to do. We're gonna look at another woodwind, the flute. It's not a single reed instrument. It's not a double reed instrument. In fact, flutes don't have reeds at all. Flutes don't use reeds because the mouthpiece is a lip plate with an oval hole. When the player blows across the lip plate, some of the air catches the edge of the hole and begins to vibrate as it enters the sound pipe. Allow me to demonstrate the concept with this handy bottle. Unlike the bottle, though, the flute sounds soft, warm, and mellow, a little delicate. It's not a loud instrument, but the high notes carry well. Flutes go back a long way. The oldest ones were made from bones with holes in them, and they date from 20,000 B.C. Our last major woodwind only dates back to 1846. It was invented by Adolf Sachs. Any guesses, Michael? The quadruple reed Adolf Hobel? Sachs, Michael. Adolf Sachs. Ah, yes, of course. The saxophone. I know he does this on purpose. Just kidding. If you guess saxophone, you're right. Saxophones are a family within a family. There are six of them, playing a very wide range of notes, from high to low. It seems that Adolf was trying to combine the best of two families, the woodwinds and the brasses. And it seems he was rather successful, Kristen. The saxophone is made of brass, but it has a single reed mouthpiece and keys much like the clarinet. It's always included in the woodwind family. Rarely used in symphonies, the sax is most at home with popular music, especially jazz. If you're thinking, I'd like to learn to play the sax, I've got good news for you. The saxophone is one of the easier instruments to play, so go for it. We've met the major members of the Woodwind family, but they have lots of relatives. There's the English horn, which isn't English and isn't a horn, the bass clarinet, the piccolo, which means little in Italian, the alto and bass flute, and the lowest instrument in the orchestra, the contrabassoon. We know that music is an art form, but have you ever considered that the instrument itself is a piece of art? Look, the details are beautiful. There's some wood parts and some metal parts. It's really complex. Where did it come from? How is it made? Let's find out. Clarinets are usually made of plastic or, in the case of the finer instruments, a special kind of wood. The body of a plastic clarinet is usually thinner than a wood one and is made by an injection molding process.
A fine wood clarinet is sometimes made using grenadilla wood. This type of wood is very rare and expensive. Wood clarinets are turned on a lathe and bored through the center. They are smoothed, polished, and dyed for beauty. Sound holes are drilled. Technicians then make the keys, arms, and springs for the complicated mechanisms. Corks, felts, and pads are added to the keys to seal the sound holes. The completed horn is inspected for appearance and play tested to make sure everything works and sounds just right. Sometimes music is used to accompany a ballet or a movie soundtrack. This one was used for both. Do you know what it is? Sometimes you want to relax and lighten up a little. You're in the mood for some finger snapping music. Snap along. Remember, want to go over what we learned today? Good idea. Okay, what do woodwind instruments have in common? You play by blowing air into the mouthpiece. The air vibrates in the sound pipe or horn and creates the musical notes. Now, do you remember how you change the notes? By pushing down the keys or covering the holes, right? Right. Can you name the double reeds? Bassoon and oboe. How about the single reeds? Clarinet and saxophone. And can you name an instrument with no reeds at all? The xylophone. A woodwind, Michael. Just kidding. The flute, of course. Okay, you got me. That was fun. It sure was. And as much fun as it is to learn about music, it's more fun to learn to play. So get your hands on a woodwind and put some music in your life. See ya. <laughs> now, do you remember which woodwind has the lowest tone? The quadruple reed saxophone. Michael. Kidding, kidding. The contrabassoon. See, I was listening. Mm -hmm. 